Here come to me in friendship. Then the scum that ruined your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. The film that we're going to talk about today that I recently revisited, revisited, excuse me, was Dead Presidents. In this world, there's only one color that counts. of menace to society, Dead Presidents, a Hughes Brothers film. For those of you who don't know, I'll give you a brief rundown. It's a great movie, by the way. It was made in 1995 by the Hughes Brothers, Albert and Alan Hughes. This was in the mid-90s when we had, let's just say black cinema was at its height, or yeah, it was, it was really at its height, around the mid to late 90s. And when I say at its height, I don't mean necessarily at its financial height, because that probably would be more so like today. I think uh, black movies are probably making more today than they did back in the day. But it was at its height more so as far as the artistic side of black movies. And the movie has Lorenz Tate, it's got Chris Tucker, it's also got Keith David, and it's got Terrence Howard, which I totally forgot he was in there until I watched it again. And the movie takes place, it starts off in the 70s. Just some young man just growing up in New York. Eventually they, you know, wind up, some of them wind up going off to the war to fight uh, Vietnam. And then um, fast forward, these gentlemen come back, they come back from the war. And we all know that story as far as uh, coming back from the war in Vietnam, not being uh, appreciated by their country, and being talked about by people, having a hard time finding a job, those types of things. So this is what Lorenz Tate's character has to deal with when he comes back. And his character is the main character. This is also what Chris Tucker's character has to deal with when he comes back. As far as the movie goes, you know, it's very well made. Um, it, it, it's funny, it's probably one of Chris Tucker's best acting performances ever. And I mean, when we think of Chris Tucker, we don't necessarily think of Chris Tucker as an actor, per se. We more so think of him as a comedian. Um, he's funny. But in this movie, Dead Presidents, he actually is more than a comedian. Although, he does, well... Uh, I'll come back to that, but he's more than a comedian in this movie because you see a transformation in his character in this movie. He goes from being the funny guy to going off to war and fight people and having to kill people to eventually coming home from the war and becoming a drug addict, like many of our Vietnam veterans were back at that time. Lorenz Tate's character, he's more so the good guy in this movie. He's straight and narrow. He wants to be a Marine, he goes to the Marine Corps with the whole idealistic view of the Marines and he comes back and from, from the Marines and you know he doesn't hate his country. He's not, he's not one of those guys that comes back and hates his country. He's got a daughter when he gets back in the movie and he tries to take care of his daughter. However, as the movie goes on, the plot thickens, these guys who once, once were young Vibrant friends are now grown men who need to make money and need to make a living. And so what happens in the movie is, eventually, they plot to rob a bank. Because, as I said, they need money. And so they plot to rob a bank. And I don't want to spoil the ending for you in case you haven't seen it. But let's just say it's an outstanding movie, in my personal opinion. A few things about this movie that I noticed for my filmmakers out there, if you're studying or looking at films or whatever, 
The Hughes brothers, they take a few things from Spike Lee as far as their camera angles and how they shoot. They like to do really long takes, which for those of you who are true cinema buffs, long takes are what a lot of filmmakers, artists in the past have looked at as being very artistic. So they do a lot of long takes in this movie. And when I say long takes, I'm not just talking about the camera just sitting there. I'm talking about the camera following somebody from one end of the room all the way to the other end of the room. The same camera moving with the person, going on with the scene for minutes. And I think that's outstanding. Another interesting part about the movie that I noticed, Terrence Howard is so funny. I tell you, he, he basically, I mean, when you see the movie and you do see Terrence Howard, the first thing that I realized is that Terrence Howard has pretty much played the same character for the last 20 years. And that is a fucking pimp. <laughs> Just a pimp with some good hair. And uh, it seems like he's played the same character. And he's good at it. I will say that uh, Terrence Howard is very good at it. But if you look at the movie, you'll see his character is really no different than his character in Empire. It's he's got nicer hair. That's probably the only thing. His, his hair is much nicer. As far as uh, you watching this movie with your family and friends, I would not suggest that you watch this movie with kids. There's a ton of violence in it. It's very gory. Arms, legs, people getting shot up. So I would not watch the movie with kids. But it is a good movie to watch, you know, maybe with a significant other or maybe a group of friends or something like that. All right. So once again, Dead Presidents, excellent movie. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Subscribe, like, share. Thanks.